who does not respect or respond to the people's aspiration. The moves such as demonetization, playing politics in development, dictatorial attitude, not responding to the problems of the farmers have disappointed all of us and the people of the country as well. Despite organized vehemental opposition, demonetization was imposed claiming to check black money to prevent circulation of fake note, etc. During this period, the most hit was the poor. They had to struggle for their meager wages. Buying food, food had also become difficult for them. The entire rural economy got collapsed because they were not aware of the changes demonetization would bring. But people in power never listened to their plight. Did this move bring any reform? No. It was like getting rats by digging hills as a famous proverb. The GST implementation has been such that states have lost the ability for resource mobilization. And this has in turn affected our planning of welfare schemes for the downtrodden. This system has curbed the freedom of the state to plan programs based on people's need, which are specific to each state. It is really unfortunate that the union government has turned blind and deaf to the plight of the common man. The irony is that though the states understand their problems, their hands are tied. They were made to be mute spectators. This is not a healthy sign in the largest democracy like ours. The whole federal system, which was woven strong between the states and the center, is slowly being torn out with such unplanned moves. If you take my own experience, I had announced in the budget about the crop loan waiver, which we were implement, implementing it successfully now. I held meeting with commercial banks, which consists of mostly nationalized banks that come under the government of India. In the beginning, banks agreed to extend one-time settlement scheme for farmers' crop loans as they do for sick industries and business houses. But later, they backed out. This is the clear indication of the BJP government plot to make this scheme a failure. But who is the sufferer here? Poor farmer. Who is struggling to make his living out of agriculture? Then Honorable Prime Minister describes loan waiver scheme a crook joke, cruel joke on farmers without knowing the facts. We have implemented the scheme with such transparency that the whole process is on online and anyone can check about the facts. Honorable Prime Minister repeatedly criticized and saying that government of Karnataka issuing notices favors big industrialists, businessmen in terms of incentives, tax rebates, subsidies and many other facilities. But the farmers are treated differently. The farmers, Annadatta, are left in the cold. One more annoying development during last five years is democracy being reduced merely to number game. On one hand, BJP makes a resolution to fight against corruption in its national executive and on the same day, the same BJP encourages our trading in Karnataka. This shows the double standard of the BJP. The most ridiculous part and which has become a national issue today is that the BJP leaders offering huge amount of cash for MLAs of Congress and JDS to resign and join them. Thanks a lot to Mr. Kumar Swamiji, Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka. And we have a great support for him. Everybody of this dais have full support of Kumar Swamiji's government. And we do full support to Kumar Swamiji. All the best to you and your government also.